And then we say the magic words, Alakanooch, and invoke the Dark Lord saying we offer this girl's soul to you, Master. And... Welcome back, McGee TV viewers. I've got a very special unboxing for you this time. I'm a huge fan of Kevin Smith, so when I saw this one available on Limited Run, I knew I had to get it. So let's check it out. All right, let's open it up. I gotta say, out of all the movies tied to Clerks, my favorite is still the original. My favorite character from Clerks, I have to say, is Randall. I've got another poster. Oh, that's the newsletter. That's what this is. Club of Fun News. I love how this thing's got this whole retro thing going. Ah, some games that have come out and all the full motion games, that's what they are. Yeah, I've got Corpse Killer. I got an original copy of Star Wars Rebel Assault. I haven't played a lot of these though. Check them out sometime. Here is what we are here for, Jay and Silent Bob Mall Brawl. Some really awesome artwork. So as you can see, we've got Jay and Silent Bob right there. This kind of action pose. It's very cool. Looks like that's Dante right underneath him. So let's take a look at the rest of the packaging. Right here on the side, we've got uh, Spoonie Bar Productions. Uh, just our title right there, Jane and, Jay and Silent Bob Mall Brawl. On the back, another picture of Silent Bob smashing the ground, looking all powerful. It's a really nice artwork here. Very cool. So let's open this up carefully. Yeah, I really enjoyed both Clerks movies, and I also watched the animated series, which I thought was hilarious. I love how they've got like this outline of an NES cartridge. And that is exactly what we have on the inside right here, is a fully functioning NES cartridge. I'm going to be digging out my NES, and we are going to fire this up. Some really awesome artwork there. I have limited run on the back 2020. That's really fun. I've got so many Nintendo cartridges and all of them on the back. They got like 1980s, maybe a 1990 here or there, but to have a 2020, that's pretty hilarious. The, uh, the finish on this, uh, the sleeve they have here isn't quite the same as the original. This is more of a matte finish. It's more of a gloss on the original dust covers for you know, Nintendo cartridges. There's some more contents on the inside of this box as well. Here we've got the soundtrack to the game, which that should be pretty fun to listen to. We'll go ahead and open that up. Once again, carefully. key when opening things with a blade is to cut away from you. I try to do that in all my videos. Come on, there we go. So much trouble opening this. <laughs> there we go. Jane Silent Bob Mall Brawl, the original 8 bit video game soundtrack by Tony Lays. Very cool looking CD there. Bob on the back. Let's see if there's anything on the insert. I think it's just a single page. Yeah, it's just a single page. Got the track list on the back though. Looks like we've got 12 tracks to check out here. 
should be interesting. What else have we got in the package? We got a card that says uh, Jay and Bob Alien Wars. It's pretty awesome. It's like a, a Contra 3 spoof. They got their guns. Okay, so that's cool. That's like ghouls and ghosts. <laughs> I remember seeing a couple of these. Like, I remember this one. This is a spoof of the uh, first issue of Nintendo Power here, Chronic Power. The source of smoking weed and strategy straight from the... That's hilarious. There's Bob looking all anime. Okay, so this is the instruction manual. And they got it in the classic uh, classic style that you would see in a Nintendo game for the NES. This is your assurance that Jay and Silent Bob have reviewed this product and has met our standards for excellence in workmanship, reliability, and entertainment value. Snooch to the nooch. This game cartridge is not licensed by Nintendo. That's awesome. Thank you for selecting Jay and Silent Bob Marbled for play on the Nintendo Entertainment System. Oh, I love it. They got the dog bone controller here on the insert. Uh, that won't be the controller I'll be playing with today, but I do have one. The Mall Brawl story. The mall is veiled in darkness. Jay and Silent Bob have been tasked with sabotaging a cheesy game show on public access television. Having succeeded in their quest, our heroes must now evade security and leave the mall. The quick stop was shedding its light silently. Interesting premise there. Okay, so it's got a, a save file. Punch, kick, jump, kick, dash, tag. Uppercut, high kick, hair grab, over shoulder throw, some special attacks. Somersault kick, spinning lariat, oh, nice. The Rogues Gallery of Villains. Your basic rent-a-cop, security guards wearing shades. Hey, it's a movie. The Easter Bunny, skaters, hockey players, ice cream clerk. Watch out for Wanda's wacky whip. Just wouldn't be a brawler without ninjas. That's pretty awesome. Adobo. Okay, that's that's pretty hilarious there. Adobo is the chocolate-covered mascot to a chain of pretzel kiosks. Nice double dragon reference. My little kids. The most feared security guard in the business. I hear he even has two kills. We got some weapons in the game. Pipes, brooms, sock full of quarters. Food, egg mc... Egg mc it's egg muffin Not egg McMuffin, but egg muffin Tofu, turkey leg, and ice cream cone. That's so pretty hilarious. Tips and tricks. If Jay and Silent Bob are defeated, they will recover their health meter until it's halfway full. Once the meter turns blue, they will become playable again. If both Jay and, if Jay and Bob are defeated at the same time, the game is over. In one player mode, it's a good idea to switch your character when his health bar gets too low. If, you reserve character's health if your reserve character's health meter is red, then it will slowly recover until it turns blue. Watch the combo meter next to the player's health bar. The higher the combos get, the greater the damage you can deal to enemies. That's a cool little manual there. And then, what else have we got here? Ah, it's the poster. This is going to be cool. So there's the poster. It's very much in line with what you would have seen for... Uh, an advert in a magazine, I'd say. We've got a couple screenshots of the NES game. They're nice and, and grainy. That would fit the 80s era perfect. We've got a really cool looking artwork here. I can't wait to sit down and, and try this one out. So I think it's time to, to dig out the NES and, and get this thing going. All right, here we go.